Hello, everybody, and welcome to Racing from Delaware Park. I'm Rich Glazier, and we're going to be looking at Saturday's races. And when I say Saturday in Delaware Park, you know one thing, the weather was perfect. Never rains on Saturday at Delaware Park, and uh, we kick off the Memorial Day weekend with a beautiful, sunshiny day. And even though this was really the eighth day of racing for the, the 2019 meet, to me it was the first day because we opened up the turf course today and I made my first bet of the meet. <laughs> I've been waiting. Money's been burning a hole in my pocket, but I was waiting for the turf. And we got two turf races today and the turf was firm. So we had a fast track and a firm turf for this Saturday card. Eight races on tap. But before we get to them, we've got a good racing fan here. Al Crisconi is his name. He was pretty much an everyday regular. But today, he celebrated birthday number 100. <laughs> wow. Of course, Al and Blackie used to hang out. Blackie passed away uh, a couple years ago at the age of 100. So Al caught up to Blackie. Wasn't here today. He's not getting around like he used to, but that's understandable. I bet you he's still getting his bets in uh, one way or another, though. So Al, if you're up watching this late at 10 o'clock at night, or maybe you're watching on YouTube, happy birthday, buddy. Even though you were a spy, for Wilmington High against PS, you're still a good guy and a good racing fan. Happy birthday and many, many more. We tried to find a tape of I Made of You, uh, interviewed you once. We couldn't find it. So Couldn't find my Tim Conway interview either the other night, so you're in good company. <laughs> All right, let's get started with the races. As I said, fast track, firm turf. Here's the field for the opener. This uh, maiden special weight race here and scratch the one sweetheart lady. Odds on favorite was Capture Me Now. Here's the voice of John, uh, voice of Delaware Park, John Kern with the call. And they're off. Pretty even start for them all. Toward the inside, Mighty Electra goes right for that lead right there. Toward the outside, that's Alin Azul. Capture me now, close up third. Two lengths further back is so cunning and utterly enchanting as they make their way down the back stretch. On the front end, Mighty Electra leaves it by a neck. Up on the far outside, capture me now. In between them, Alin Azul. Those three across the track still. Utterly enchanting moves up on the outside of So Cutting. They're bunched up. Only two and a half lengths separates the field. Opening quarter went in 22 and four as they make their way to the turn. Mighty Electra, capture me now. Alina Zul still across the track. Utterly enchanting is making a three wide move, followed by So Cunning, still well bunched. Only one dropping out of the party right now is Mighty Electra, stole four with a shot. Capture me now, joined by Utterly enchanting for that lead. It's still over two lengths. So Cunning is trying to muster a rally. Alina Zul is now dropping back as they head for home. Capture me now, trying to fend off the firsters. Utterly enchanting and So Cunning, three across the track, a furlong to go, and So Cunning has momentum. Utterly enchanting between horses. Capture me now is not thrown in the towel. So Cunning still has a fight on her hands, but begins to edge away. So Cunning will take the opener. There's still a battle for second with Capture Me Now and Utterly Enchanting winning that one. And the winner was a first time starter. So Cunning. Christophe Clement, the trainer, he sent went down here on Wednesday in the first race. A first time starter, and he won with that one. And he does it again. Alex, it's a sin if you didn't bet on Cintron, the jockey. And the owners of this one, Leverett Miller and Linda Miller. 580, 320, 210. Utterly enchanting with Sedania, 480, 220. Capture me now with Mania, 210. Exact to 2320, the try 2720, and no superfecta in that race. Here's the field for race two. Seven of them to go. The four to five favorite was J Rock. Here's John. And they're off. 
Starship Thor breaks. Well, goes right for that lead. Down to the inside, though. One lucky step quickly to challenge. And one lucky step steps to the front by a length and a quarter. Starship Thor back in a second. Up on the outside, that's J-Rock. Down to the inside, more front. Both on the move just a bit. Then comes Matter of Factor settling in the fifth. The gap of three lengths. The winner is, and the trailer is discreetly placed as they make their way into the turn. One lucky step off the rail just a bit. Leads it by still a length and a quarter over J-Rock toward the outside. More front drops back on the inside. Starship Thor and Matter of Fact are trying to pick it up. Then a gap of four lengths to the winner is and discreetly placed. Under three eighths to go and one lucky step. Still on the front end and still going strong. Leads it by about two and a half lengths. J-Rock on the outside still chasing far outside. Matter of Factor as they turn from home. Well off the rail, all three of them. It's one lucky step, trying to fend off the favorite, J-Rock. Two lengths further back, two. Matter of Factor is trying to kick it in, but now J-Rock takes on one lucky step, and J-Rock to the front. On the outside, a late charge from Matter of Factor. It's on the front end, J-Rock to prevail by a length. Matter of Factor got up for second, followed by one lucky step, and the winner is... And the favorite, J-Rock, gets it done for J.D. Acosta and uh, Hugh McMahon. David Lemongelli, the owner. 360, 240, 210. Matter of Factor with Jeremy Rose. $4.260. One Lucky Step with Centeno. 260, the exact 11.20. Try $32. Double 14.60. Super. 65.30. And on we go. Race number three. It's a distance of ground in here, a mile and 70 yards. Bob's My Uncle was a late scratch. And let's see. We had a two three to one shot. Sir Alfred and Percy both went off at three to one. Here's John Kern. And they're off. Private party breaks well between horses right alongside Sir Alfred rushing up on the outside. Percy William Otero wants to lead with Percy. Won't get it into the first turn there. We caught three wide maybe as they race into that turn on the front end. Private party by a length. Percy up on the far outside. Sir Alpha toward the inside, racing in third, followed by General Paddy, who has the rail secured in fourth. Codename Raven next to the line. These blues up on the outside. Then a gap of three lengths further back to double whammy. And far back, your trailer is Watch My Dust. Opening quarter in 22 and four. Good solid tempo being set on the front end by Private Party. Opens up four and a half on the field. Percy racing second with Sir Alfred up on the outside third. Tucked in General Paddy with the rail in fourth. Then a gap of about three lengths still. Two, these blues on the outside, codename Raven on the inside running as a team. Double whammy, two lengths further back, and eight more to watch my dust. Half goes in, 46 and one, solid tempo being set by Private Party. Bidding for the upset here, and opens up about seven lengths on the field. Private Party in control right now with under a half mile to go. General Patty slipping through on the inside. Up on the outside, Sir Alfred and Percy, those three across the track. Double whammy's trying to gain some momentum, now picking it up on the outside. Double whammy may be the big challenge as they make their way around the bend. And Private Party, the lead is five. Double whammy's rolling. Rolling in second. Sir Alfred trying to rally with that one as they turn for home. The six went in 11 and four. How much does Private Party have left? Leads it by a length and a half, but Double Whammy has dead him on the outside, and Double Whammy goes right on by. Double Whammy now drawing away. Private Party trying to hold on to second on the outside. Sir Alfred on the inside. These blues, but it's Double Whammy striding away. An easy winner here. Double Whammy. Wins it by about six or seven. Tight for a second. Private party may have held off Sir Alfred. And double whammy becomes a two-time winner at the meet with that easy victory here in the third. Ridden nicely by leading jockey CeCe. Carol Cedeno for Mary Epler from the Mary Epler Racing Stable Incorporated and Flying Pheasant Farm, LLC. $10, 560, 340, private party, seven even, five even with Edwin Gonzalez. Sir Alfred with Centeno, 280. Exact the 90 bucks. Try 350, 80. Double 1640. 
pick three, 4520. Super, a good one with the nine, 2000, 23410. On through the fourth we go, and let's keep that distance at a mile and 70 yards on the fast main track. And a field of seven entered, and a field of seven will go. The favorite was on the rail, My Eminence, at nine to five. Here's John Kern with the call. We are set to go, and they're off. They come away in alignment toward the outside. Clearly, Super is going for that lead. Grosko right there toward the inside of that one, and Grosko will come out on top into that first turn by at least a uh, half a length. Up on the outside, clearly super. My Eminence saving all the ground down toward the inside. It's taken over that second spot now. And up on the outside, under a bit of a hole there, a little rank in the early going, is clearly super. Next in line, that's Etruscan, followed by Legends Hoop. Then a gap of four lengths. Your trailers are Major Attitude and Sir Douglas without the quintet. Opening quarter goes in 23 and 3 as they straighten away down the back stretch. On the front end, Grosco by a length. Clearly super up on the outside. Etruscan between horses. My Eminence has the rail. Those three across the track chasing Grosco. Then a gap of over two lengths to Legends Hope, followed by Major Attitude and the trailer is Sir Douglas as they approach the half mile marker. Now much has changed on the front end. It's still Grosco showing the way. Clearly super. My Eminence are now heads apart in second and third as Etruscans drop back a bit. Legends hope the long shot is trying to move up there. Then a gap of three and a half lengths to Major Attitude and Sir Douglas. They with the half in 47 and two, three eighths to go. Clearly super up on the outside. There goes Etruscan quickly to challenge for that lead and Etruscan takes over. Clearly super is back in second. My Eminence Eminence rallies in third. Grosco's thrown in the towel as they hit the top of the stretch with Etruscan to catch. The lead is about three. They went to the six furlongs in 113. Etruscan leads it by three and a half to four lengths now. My Eminence on the outside. Major Attitude's putting in a nice run. A furlong to go. It's Etruscan still in front by three. Major Attitude is closing the gap just a bit in second. Etruscan still holding on and Etruscan will prevail. Major Attitude closing well for second followed by My Eminence and Legends Who. Truskin wins again, another two-time winner at the meet. Well, this one was bred to be a good one. Bernardini had a proud spell. Larry uh, Jones used to have it, but now in the hands of Jamie Ness. Made sense to bet on Centeno here, Daniel Centeno. And the owners, Madison Avenue Racing Stable Incorporated. That's a local owner. Congratulations. And Jagger Incorporated. That's Jamie and S is born. Uh, so they're partners in that horse, and uh, he picks up another win for him. 663.2240. Major Attitude with Rose, 540.260. My Eminence with Acosta, 220. The Exacta, $24. The Try, 34.60. Double thirty-two dollars. Pick three, twenty-nine ninety. Pick four, one thirty-two twenty. Super with the seven, one forty thirty. Claims. Yes, claim person. There was one claim today, and it was in this race. Clearly, super was taken by trainer Scott Lake. Do, 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 do. First turf race of the meet. At about a mile and 70 yards, the rail's out 25 feet to start the meet. So that makes it the about distance. Scratch the two fold over. And in the main track, only the three aspect. So seven of them to go on the firm turf. Favoritism went to Sindarius. At nine to five, sit back, put your feet up, and let's watch them on the beautiful turf course at Delaware. Okay, uh, we, John forgot to put his mic on for the first part of this race. So 
while we're watching and without the sound, let me remind you that Sunday, uh, there's just simulcast racing only, and then Memorial Day Monday, back in action with the live card and three turf races. I think we'll be hearing John any second now. As they make their way down the back stretch, opening quarter did go in 24 seconds flat. And on the front end, it is still Alden by two lengths. Next in line, that's Sindarius in second, done acting toward the inside third, followed by Hijacker up on the outside fourth. Pretty good years next in line, followed by down toward the inside. On the move, that's Dixie Draw and the trailer's Linda's Nakia. As they cut the half in 48 and one, they make their way into the turn. On the front end, it's still Odlam showing the way by a half. Up on the outside, Sindarius is right there now to challenge. Dunn Acting's on a good trip in third, followed by Hijacker. Pretty good year rallies to the outside in fifth as they turn for home. Odlam still trying to hang on. Sindarius right there has a measured, it appears. Next in line, Dunn Acting now swings to the outside for clear sailing, and Dunn Acting is putting in a big run. Sindarius on the inside, Dunn Acting on the outside. These two square off a 16th from home. Sindarius is digging in. Dunn Acting trying to go on by. Dunn Acting and Sindarius. Dunn Acting wins it by a hard-fought head. Sindarius getting second. And as usual on a turf race, a very exciting finish. And the winner was the nine. Dunn Acting with a J.D. Acosta, a double. Hugh McMahon, a double. This one owned by Larry Raybold. 1420, 540, and 360. Sindarius with Cintron, $3, 220. Pretty good year with Sedano, three forty. Exact the fifty one sixty, the tried two fifty sixty, the double seventy three twenty, the pick three one fifty seven ten, and the super with the eight two hundred ninety six dollars and sixty cents. So turf racing has begun at Delaware, onward and upward for the rest of the meet. Now back to the main track we go, a one mile that's once around the oval. It's a one mile dirt track, seven furlong turf course around. And we had a field of six to go. Two to one favoritism went to the one trace of grace. Here they go. Let's see another good start. And they're off. Trace of Grace breaks well, but quickly hustled up between horses. Ghoul's night out, vent to go right alongside of that one. Sneaky Betty's also right there as they make their way to that first turn. Four across the track. Looks like Ghoul's night out has the sled advantage on the inside. That's Trace of Grace up on the far outside, vent to go. Right there, it's Trolley Ride. Sneaky Betty now back in the fifth. And the trailer is Nick's Warrior as they make their way around that first turn. Opening quarter goes in 25 1, leisurely quarter for this group. And Ghoul's Night Out showing the way down the backside. Trace of Grace racing in second, up on the outside, looking to move closer, vent to go. Next in line, that's Trolley Ride. Sneaky Betty's going along in fifth. And the trailer still Nick's Warrior, only about four lengths from front to back as they move toward the half mile marker. On the inside, Trace of Grace. On the outside, Ghoul's Night Out. It's still two lengths to Sneaky Betty, who's moved up on the inside nicely, followed by Trolley Ride and Vent to Go far outside. Nick's Warrior continues the trail, but still only five lengths from front to back. They pick things up that quarter just a bit. 49 and two, still slow on the front end as they race into the turn. On the front end, it's Trace of Grace. Ghoul's Night Out, Vent to Go up on the far outside. Trolley Ride looking to kick it in. Sneaky Betty has dropped back now, and the trailer is Nick's Warrior as they turn for home, three across the track. Trace of Grace on the far outside. Ventigo went wide, but is kicking in, and Ventigo has momentum. Ventigo, Trace of Grace battling back. Trolley ride with the rail, followed by Ghoul's Night Out down to two. It's Trace of Grace, game on the inside. Ventigo on the outside. Ventigo, Trace of Grace. Ventigo, Trace of Grace to the line. Ventigo, edging out. Trace of Grace. They battled out to the finish, and the longest shot on the board prevails. Ventigo. For Jose Garcia in the winner's circle. For Cesar Nambo, owner trainer. 1880, 920, and 5 even. Trace of Grace, a game second with Gonzalez, 360, 260. Trolley Ride with Enerio, 520.
That exact is $63. The try, $254.80. The double, a healthy, $248.80. Pick three, $227.20. And a super with the four, $588.20. Let's get back to the turf for the lucky seventh race. I'm going to scratch the two versed and then a late scratch. So check your tickets. The three, Frank's gun is loaded, was a late scratch during the post parade. So with that in mind, the even money favorite was the four, the man behind the man. And here's Johnny with a turf race. And they're off. Hills Pond breaks alertly, goes for that lead from the outside. Down toward the inside, it's inclusive and the man behind the man between them, Mountain Holiday, as they come off that chute. Jockeying for position and up on the outside, Hills Pond could be caught three wide into the bend. The man behind the man has got the inside track. Mountain Holiday is right there between him in third. Then a length and a half further back, inclusive on the inside. Up on the outside, it's Celtic Treasure looking to move up, then Lone Sentry and Hey Big Guy as they make their way around that first turn. Your favorite, the man behind the man, going to try and dictate the tempo. Opening quarter in 24 seconds flat. Leads it by three parts. Hills Pond right there in second. Length and a half further back to Mountain Holiday and Celtic Treasure right alongside. A length and a half to Inclusive with the rail. Up on the outside, it's Hey Big Guy and Lone Sentry is all alone at the back. Uh, about six or seven lengths separates the bunch as they move toward the half mile marker. The half went in 48 and two and on the front end. Hills Pond now challenging the man behind the man. Two lengths further back to Mountain Holiday and Celtic Treasure, inclusive next in line, followed by Hey Big Guy and Lone Sentry. Not much has changed into the bend. The man behind the man trying to pull clear once again over Hills Pond, but Hills Pond is staying right with him. It's still over two to Celtic Treasure trying to make some progress, but can't. On the inside looking to get out Mountain Holiday. On the outside looking to kick it in. It is inclusive as they head for home. The man behind the man Man. Here comes Inclusive ranging up there. Between them, it's Hills Pond. They've got a 16th to go. End of the front, Inclusive. Ra Russell's that lead away. The man behind the man, Mountain Holiday, trying to slip through on the inside. But Inclusive is edging away. Inclusive will win it. Mountain Holiday up for second. The man behind the man, third, tight for fourth. Maybe Hills Pond. And it was Inclusive who was uh, a Triple Crown nominee. Got the job done today, breaking... Uh, no, he's won before, second win. Another win for Edwin, Edwin Gonzalez for Kentucky Derby winning trainer H. Graham Motion, Paul Braverman, and Timothy Pinch, the owners. $7.80, $4.240. Mountain Holiday with Centeno, $4.240. The Man Behind the Man with Garcia, $2.10. The exact of thirty-four eighty, the try seventy dollars. The consolation double with the late scratch of the three, twenty-two forty. The actual double, five and one, paid a hundred and six eighty. The consolation pick three, seventy-two dollars. The actual pick three, four twenty-seven ninety. The pick five, look at that, 8,154.40. There was a dead heat for fourth for the Superfecta with the five, that one paid 78.40. And with the seven, that one paid 76.10. So a lot of prices there in the lucky seventh. Hope you were lucky. As we move to the eighth and final. For the Arabians today, scratch the four, Texas Hold'em. Big favorite in here and a big show bet made on number six, Easterman. Easterman, if memory serves me, has been an Arabian horse of the year in years past. So he's still going strong at age seven. And on the comeback trail again, back here at his favorite track. And Carol Cedeno, his favorite jockey, was aboard. Let's see if Easterman can get it done at one to two. And they're off.
All the way, well, looks like the entry is going for that lead. It's Uptown Cruise Director and Uptown Flying Flynn vying for that top spot. This is awesome toward the outside. Advancing down toward the inside, Big Ben, as they move down the back stretch. Your favorite Easter man is up on the far outside, racing in fifth, and comes Belfast. Uptown Flying Flynn with the rail. Uptown Cruise Director on the outside. Between them, it's still Big Ben. Far outside, this is awesome. And Easter Man's going to be five wide around that half mile marker and heading into the turn. And only one off the tempo is Belfast. They've got three eights to go. Uptown Cruise Director leads it by half. But Easter Man's breathing down his neck in second. This is awesome third as. Uptown Flying Flynn's dropped out of it, being passed by Big Ben, and now Belfast with a quarter to go. Easterman under a hand right on the outside. On the inside, it's Uptown Cruise Director. They wheel home together. Two lengths further back to This is awesome. They've got a furlong to go. Easterman now being let out a bit. Looks over his shoulder, does the jockey. Looking for competition on the outside. Easterman in front by a length and a half. Uptown Cruise Director is gamely trying to battle back with the rail, but it's going to be Easterman to win this one. Easterman and Carol Cedeno will win it by about two and a half. Uptown Cruise Director got second, followed by This is... And it was the big favorite, and also, by the way, the last horse... In the last race, happens quite often, just like the first horse in the first race. Keep an eye on that angle. It makes no sense handicapping-wise, but it seems to occur quite often. Easterman wins on Memorial Day weekend for CC Carol Cedeno, her second for Ernesto Torres, Betty, and Joseph Gills, Gillis, the owner. Three dollars to ten to ten. Uptown cruise director with Garcia. Three forty three four. Vess is awesome with Swan. Three forty. Last exact of the day nine twenty. Final trifecta of the day twenty nine forty. The one six double thirteen twenty. The consolation pick three eighteen forty. The real pick three, 10170. The pick four, 91720. And there was no superfecta in that race with the late scratch. And that'll do it for the Saturday the day we christened the turf course for the year. Let's take a look at the handle. Not bad on Saturday where we have a lot of competition. Let's try it again. Here's the handle. 720,000 to 18. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. That will do it. Once again, happy birthday to Al Crisconi. 100 years young today. And our next live racing day is Monday. But we'll be here tomorrow for Simulcast Wagering if you want to come on out for the holiday weekend. Meanwhile, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Remember, this show's on at 10 o'clock at night. Every other night of the week, it's on at 11. Thanks for tuning in, and good night.